Okay, watch mommy, watch mommy. Mommy, it's so good, it's so good. Yes, mama loves pureed spinach and carrot. Oh yeah. Oh, it is, mmm, yummy, yum, yum, yum. Now you try it. Come on, got Thank it. Thank you for calling the events by Liz and Marcy. Got it. Marcy and Liz, events by Marcy and Liz. No, this is not dentures in one hour or less. However, can I interest you in our special? If you book a Christmas party with us, then you get a New Year's Eve brunch for half off. Now that's something you can really sink your teeth into. Huh. Hello? Huh. There you go. Marcy, yeah. I'm gonna have to land a deal here soon. Relax, Elizabeth, it's not a competition. I can't. I mean, I haven't landed one single client since we opened the doors. The anniversary parties, yours. The bar mitzvahs, yours. Even the charity fundraisers, those are all yours. And let's not forget about the New Year's Eve engagement party, which will be our biggest payday yet. I know, the international rap icon and your dentist. Who knew going in for a root canal could change your life? Well, it better change my life especially after we had to put down the money on this building and then pay for the marketing campaign and get that van that you wanted with all the bells and whistles. Well, Elizabeth, you have to spend money to make money. Speaking of which, I can finally pull the trigger on Chandler's first birthday gala. I'm thinking a circus, we'll have a petting zoo. It'll be so great. Mm. What is Blair thinking? You let me worry about Blair. My baby girl's going to have the best birthday party ever. Now, if I could just get her to eat. Come on, mama. Come on, Lizzie. little mama. Hi. Hey. Hey, How you doing? Mm, good. Hey, good. lover. Yeah, she won't eat. I don't think she's hungry. Right, let I me mean, try. Let me try. That's no use. I couldn't Come get on, her baby. to eat. I'm there sure you can. Baby. Oh, yeah, that's a good girl. Oh, she just probably Yummy wanted to tummy. taste it. Yeah. She won't eat it all, I'm telling you. That's Daddy's baby. Really? Really? For the tummy. Huh, now, you sure this is the color you want for Dana's room? Blushing blue instead of peachy pink. Yes, honey, blushing blue it is. I'm, and I'm gonna get new draperies to match. It's, this is so exciting. Dana, Frankie, Bria, and little Frankie are finally coming home for Christmas. Oh, my God. Seems like it's been forever since they left for Haiti. Mm, I know. I can't wait to meet my new grandson and take Bria fishing. It's December, honey. It's kind of cold for fishing. Oh, well, then I can take her ice skating. Or go shopping. We can go to that toy store we went to last Christmas. I'll buy up the whole blasted place. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Denny is dying to meet Bria. They're going to be the best of friends. Mm. Yeah. I realize how much I miss my babies. Oh, me too, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Look, come on. Let's get painting. All right. You lead the way. Mm -hmm. No, after you, my dear. All right. Because mm -hmm. I'm looking. I know you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry, I really think I finally found my niche. I mean, what could be better than me using my God-given talents to put smiles on people's faces? I mean, really. But, oh, no, of course. I think splinting a broken leg is far more important than anything. Oh, all right. All right. Sure. Okay. Bye now. Mwah. Adore him. Ah, cry. Check, check, check. You know what? I don't need this. Would you mind holding that? Thank you. Yeah. All right, now, the trick to singing people is the solar plexus, the diaphragm. You have to put your body and soul, oh, 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 into it, okay? Or your cane is fine. All right? Now, singing with Stephanie, right? I am not only going to help you get over your stage fright, I'm going to help you hit the Oh, yes, I am. I am going to teach you how to riff and to rhyme 
And a wrap in flashback in progress, me if you will, shush, pop the bubbly be cliffhanger still. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make you jazzy. I'm gonna make you bluesy, for instance, God rest ye merry gentlemen. Ah, ah, ah. Who wants to join? Huh? Who's gonna join? <laughs> you are the nuttiest person I have ever met in my entire life. Wow. And I have lived a long time. Ma'am, uh, what? Where's everybody going? Oh, please, please. How about first lesson is free? Free on me. Oh, you too? All right, sis. All right, you don't know it's good. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Lesson's over. Hey, baby. <laughs> so Chandler's hanging out with Aunt Lizzie. Don't worry, she gave up on trying to teach her how to whip and nae nae. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, looks like you're getting settled in. <sighs> sort of. You know, I'm really glad you moved your office here, babe. Me too. Saves money. Mm -hmm. Cannot afford frivolous spending. You know, speaking of frivolous, have you spoken to Preston? Is he still salty about you not wanting to renew your contract? Yeah, but I don't care. If I'm gonna be a role model for our daughter, I have to be the kind of man I wanted to end up with, right? Right. Honest, forthright, hardworking. A man of principles that doesn't make decisions based purely on money. Speaking of frivolous and money, uh -huh. I was able to get us a discount on Chandler's birthday party. I was thinking a circus theme with a petting... Marcy, that's gonna cost a fortune. Yes, but that is where the principal's part comes in, you see, because it is our duty as good parents to make sure that our daughter's first birthday and first Christmas are a memorable one. Now, I can probably nix the petting zoo, but what about the circus? There's a vacant parking lot right down the street. Marcy. I don't know why you're so obsessed with having this big old party for Chandler. She's just a baby. Yes, but she's my baby. Our baby. Okay. And we love her. At least I do. I love her too, but can't we love her for $200 or less? Blair, no. Marcy, we do not need to spend $10,000 on Chandler's Christmas slash birthday party. Did I ever tell you what my mother did for my birthday? What? She got me a party hat a cupcake, and she sang happy birthday and called it a night. And you want to know the icing on that cupcake was? Huh? Tell me what? A big old fat check. She wrote you a big fat check for your birthday? No. No? She got you a pinball machine? <laughs> a puppy? No. A pony? No. Tell me. A hug, Marcy. A big fat hug. My mom's hugs were the best. And if we can make Chandler feel what I felt when my mother hugged me, we would never have to throw another party or buy her a gift the rest of her life. That's sweet, baby. Yeah. Really sweet. Silly talk, but sweet. Silly talk. Chandler, okay, now watch your auntie. I'm gonna show you how to dab. You ready? Uh. <laughs> That's how you dab, boo. <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna show you a guy. Mmm. Uh. Oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. No, you're teaching my baby. I'm it's teaching her how direction. to say no. A, B, C's instead of going L, M, N, O, P. Okay. You know, that's kind of hood. Baby, don't listen to auntie. And then I got my accountant's degree at Kennesaw State University. <laughs> I went back for my master's, but I ended up with the MRS degree. <laughs> Had a baby girl, stayed home, and became a domestic engineer. Well, great. Well, <laughs> you know, I would be interested in having you come back for a second interview. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Now I really love the company. I oh, mean, you do? Look at all yeah. these kids. Hi, honey. I love how you support the youth. All these college interns. Way to go. No, uh, these aren't interns, Miss Jewel. These are mm -hmm. senior accountants. Are you serious? Yeah. If we seem fit to hire you, well, one of them would be your boss. My boss? Yes. I... Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll see. I'll, um, yeah, I'm gonna go that way and 
We'll just see where I'm going here. Get out of here. I think uh, those new draperies are gonna go great with the blushing blue. Hmm. What's wrong? You know, I don't know if the blushing blue is the best choice. Oh. I think that peachy pink was really pretty. Oh, well, woman. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it's Dana. Oh, hey, hey, little Dana. girl. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. We just finished painting your room, and we're going to install new carpeting and replace the windows. Replace the windows? It's December. <laughs> Ain't nobody replacing the no windows in December. Anyway, I want everything to be perfect when you get here. Now, when you coming, hopefully before Christmas Eve. Mom. I, you know, I'm going to cook the best, best meals for you, all your favorite. Mom. How about that meatloaf and that uh, chicken pot pie and that yummy <laughs> lemon <laughs> pound cake, girl? We're not coming. We're not going to be able to make it for Christmas. And as it turns out, our five-year stint in Haiti might be extended indefinitely. Frankie's a pastor now. Frankie's a pastor? That's something else that I was going to tell you. Frankie's a pastor, and it is a beautiful thing. They need him here. I mean, they need all of us. You know that saying, it takes a village? Well, we just can't leave now. They need us. I need you too, baby. I mean, I miss you. You're my only child, and it's it's Christmas. What your mother's trying to say, sweetheart, is that we do miss you guys. But you know, what you all are doing, it's a, it's a good thing. We're proud of you. And Frankie. Thanks, Daddy. I think we really have the opportunity here to change some lives. And it's so exciting. And it's such a blessing. Mom? We're very proud of you. Tell Frankie congratulations and t tell everyone that. OK, I have to go lead this group of women in prayer. But I'll try you guys again soon. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye bye. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure a few things out. I just wanted to confirm that there will be two aerialists available. And I know what you're thinking. She's only one. She probably won't remember. But I remember every... What are you doing? Did you hear about what happened? The international rap icon, he called off the engagement to the local dentist. What? Right. The engagement is off. What? So no engagement? No party. No way. I think we should do grab bags this Christmas. I mean, I just can't afford to get everyone a gift. I don't know when I'm going to see my Dana again. I mean, what they're doing is great, but why did she have to go and marry such a decent, God-fearing man? All that painting, blushing blue, peachy pink, vineyard purple, new draperies for what? For nothing. No daughter, no grandkids, no fishing trip. You know, I thought about calling Preston back, and then I thought, nah, stand strong, brother. Stan Strong. They all walked out on me. Actually, they shuffled out as if I wasn't a good singing instructor. And then there was the accountant's interview. As if I'm going to let a 10-year-old who just learned her multiplication tables train me. I don't think so. And if I use the parking lot next to the office instead of renting the big one down the street, that'll save me some money, right, babe? You people need to park up. It's Christmas. You leave me no choice. Time to break out my secret weapon. Look who I found! Wait, wait, Oh, she sure does love her daddy. Yeah, well, she loves her mama, too. Remember, Dana was just like that. <laughs> yeah, she sure was. She would follow you everywhere, honey. Daddy's little girl. Yeah, but she's also a mama's girl like I was, right? Right, Mom? That's she's right, coming, sweetheart. Coming and you are still my little... She must have been exhausted. Sucking that thumb just like me. <laughs> my mom used to tease me all the time about sucking my thumb. I think I might have sucked my thumb until I was about eight. Yeah, well, did you notice how she twirls her hair when she's tired, just like I do? <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens all the time. I see it all the time. OK, I'll take your word for it. And I even think she's starting to look a lot like me. Look at her eyes, like, right? 
<laughs> you serious? Yes. <laughs> now, baby, I don't mean to brag, but this girl looks so much like me. If I didn't know any better, I swear you weren't even in the delivery room. Well, I was in the delivery room. <laughs> you know what room. I'm saying? No, I don't. I did all the work, as a matter of fact. Come on, Blair. I really want to throw this party for Chandler. I mean, I know she's just a baby, but when she looks back on her life and all her pictures, She's gonna be really proud of how I, of how we made such a big deal over her. You know, you only get one first baby and she only gets one first birthday and one first Christmas. I hear you. Come here, come sit down, come on. Did I ever tell you what my mother used to do for me for Christmas? Mm -mm. She used to buy me two gifts. One I would keep and one I would give away. It taught me a lot about selflessness and gave me an appreciation for everything that much more. That's really sweet. Hmm. You think we should buy her all the American Girl dolls or should we get her one every year? I think we should get her one every year because that one. Right this way. All right, your official job title is executive in charge of community relations. Ooh, I like that. And given my extensive background in people, it fits. <laughs> well, here it is. Yeah. Ooh, that computer looks really complicated. But you know what? Don't worry. I'm a quick study. I'll be routing those calls in no time. Oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. Our entire system is completely automated. Oh, so then I'll be directing people to their destinations. That's where I come in, right? Nope, not quite. Uh, see that information board there? When visitors come, they'll type in the name of the person they're here to see, and it'll tell them where to go and how to get there. OK, so what if the visitors have a question? That's where I come in. Not quite. That same information board has an FAQ section. Yeah, what's FAQ? Frequently asked questions. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. Here, I'll show you. Okay. <clears throat> That's it? That's it. Easy peasy. Right? Mm -hmm. It's great that you've got a good smile. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll check on you after lunch. OK. Great smile, easy peasy. <laughs> Liz, remember when we were little girls and we used to sit on this very porch and cuddle up and drink hot cocoa? <laughs> it's so good to be back in the old neighborhood. Yes, but I don't understand why you sold your beautiful house and moved back here. And next door to Myra. Elizabeth, if you saw what I saw in Ghana, you'd be downsizing too. No, when I came back from Ghana with Larry, I was inspired to simplify my life. Get reconnected, get grounded. It was about finding meaning and purpose. How's that working for you? It's not. People don't appreciate me, they don't. You know what else people don't do? People don't keep their word. Now, if you say you're gonna marry your dentist, I need you to marry your dentist. I heard you lost that account, sis, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to think this event planning business wasn't such a good idea. I think I'm gonna call Wilhelmina and ask her if I can have my job back at Solstice. You will do no such thing. Well, I have to do something. I mean, Elizabeth needs to make a coin. I, I know, but you, you, girl, have you, you need to. Have you seen my nails lately? I mean, no money, no manny, no petty, no. At least you have something to do. Are we changing the subject? You know, all I do is sit around watching those doggone soap operas and trust the stories aren't nearly as good as they used to be. Well, find yourself something to do, Stephanie. Are you not paying attention, Elizabeth? I mean, there was the senior center, the accountancy job, the digital thingy. I mean, it all fell flat, and it's not just about keeping busy. It's about being appreciated, being, you know, needed. I need you, Steph. Me too. You know what I'd appreciate? What? A girl's day. Hi. And I just think it should just be me and you, because I need some advice. Really? Yeah, really. And then we could do lunch, and after lunch, we could go have massages and manis and petties, and it could be a treat. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. Yeah. OK, so I'll see you for lunch tomorrow. Myra, I need dessert to go. Good night, Steph. Good night. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Safranya, did you just bamboozle me? Get back out here right now. 
Elizabeth! Solstice answering service. <laughs> Marcy? Hey, what you doing? I'm not doing anything. Why would I be why would I be doing something? What are you doing? Nothing. Just having some ice cream before I turn in. You know, Elizabeth, all I want is to have a nice first Christmas for my daughter and a nice first birthday. Does that make me such a horrible person? I mean, what's wrong with wanting nice things? Nothing. I mean, I want nice things too, Marcy. I want a manicure and a pedicure. A sweetest massage. I mean, it's just what we deserve. Exactly. And so does Chandler. You're right. I mean, she's a Chandler woman. Exactly. You know what we're going to do, Elizabeth? Yeah. I know what we're going to do. We're going to call Will and Minnie, we're going to call Fiona, and we're going to beg for our jobs back so we can get back to shopping and pampering ourselves like we used to do. No. Crazy. <laughs> We are going to beat every bush and turn over every rock until we find someone who knows how awesome we are. We're going to make so much money, Elizabeth. Chandler is going to be the envy of every single one-year-old in Atlanta. Nope. The world. Now you're talking. Let's do this, Elizabeth. Let's do it. OK, so tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Now I just talked to your mom into get me a mani-pedi, and she's going to treat. Honey, I can't seal deals with my nails looking like this. I barely want to seal envelopes. <laughs> Okay. Bye. I miss you so much, Ma. Chandler looks so much like you. She has your smile, Ma. I wish you were here to see her. To remind me to teach her all the things that you taught me. I don't want her to have to search for role models. I'm going to be her role model. She's gonna be smart, selfless, and humble, just like you. Just like you, Mom. So, I just got off the phone with Elizabeth, mm -hmm. and Chandler's mm -hmm. birthday bash is in the bag. It's on. In the bag. Are you okay? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I see you happy about the party. No. I'm good, babe. Trust me, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Mm. Love you. I love you too. You and this party. Sure does. Why do kids have to grow up and leave home? Well, you know, it could be worse. You know, Dana could be staying away because she hates us, or because she's such a horrible person. We don't want her to come home anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the case. Dana is the wonderful, caring, giving young woman we raised her to be. And she was fortunate enough to marry a man who's just as amazing as she is. We did good, honey. We should be proud. You're right. We did good. You know, we, we should have had more children. Mm. You know, it's not too late. Oh, no, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely too late for that, honey. <laughs> but it's not too late to be great parents to someone who doesn't have parents of their own. Mm. OK. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no, I have no idea what you think. Well, you remember last Christmas when I bonded with Denny at Carrie Steel Pits? I mean, the minute I laid eyes on her. I, I remember. Yeah, so, well, every time I visit her and I have to leave, I, I just feel horrible. Okay. Um, I haven't said anything about this, but I imagine what it would be like if I didn't have to leave. 
if she could come with me, with, with us, to stay, to live forever. I want us to adopt her. Wait, I, wait, you, wait you, don't, you don't have to say anything. I want you to think about it. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? Thanks, babe. Good night. Hey, sweetie. Morning, honey. Morning. Mm -hmm. Got your breakfast all ready. I thought we'd get an early start. I have so much to do. I have tons of shopping, and then I have to go and ship off Dana's uh, gifts, and then we got to go look for the Christmas tree for Stephanie's house. Oh, my God. I don't know when we're going to get a chance to do that. Wow. <sighs> Exactly. See, I slept on anything last night. I didn't think about it though. All night, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't. I don't think adopting Denny is a good idea. We just retired last year. Our daughter's grown. We're not getting any younger. But, honey, I, I feel and that... We are finally at a point in our lives where we don't have to be responsible for anybody but ourselves. No kids, no jobs. Remember all the stuff we said we were going yes, we to do I, when I, we were Yes, tired? yes, I remember. Honey, and, and, I... and started over, raising a child. At our ages, sweetie? Come on, honey. I'm sorry, but I... Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I, what was I thinking? I don't know. I guess I just got all caught up in the moment. Well, you know, besides, why would Denny want to live with two old folks like us anyway, huh? Right? Anyway, I've, I've got lots to do, so I gotta go. Well, uh, you know, hold up a minute. I'll, I'll come with you. No, no, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, well, I can't actually plan the event on Christmas Eve. See, we are celebrating my daughter's very first birthday and very first Christmas, and... Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Th yeah, so we're planning a very big soiree for her. Uh, so it's... Hello. Chewy. Thank you for calling hey. me this by Liz and Marcy. This oh, is Liz. Hi. We'll be more than happy to help you plan your Christmas Eve event. Oh, really? What did you have in mind? Night before Christmas, zombie masquerade ball. Okay, you know, let me double check our calendar and we'll get back to you, okay? All right. Would you like to check this calendar? <laughs> How was I supposed to know? I oh. knew. It doesn't matter. You cannot be turning down business trying to plan Chandler's imaginary birthday party because it's gonna remain imaginary if we don't replace that engagement event that we lost. You know what, ladies? I want you all to come over tonight because I have some very exciting news to share. Oh, perfect. You know what, we've been so busy. Poor Blair hasn't had a decent meal since the last time we were at your place, so count us in. Yeah, count me in too. 
Thank you so much for my Manny Petty, sis. Oh, you're so welcome, sis. Now, time to make the donuts. I've been meaning to talk to you about this whole Manny Petty business. Thank you for calling events by Liz and Marcy. Marcy and Liz, events by Marcy and Liz. <laughs> Wow, you know what? This grandbaby is just such a bundle She's of a joy. Handful. This place is really coming together. Oh, thank you. Whee! Thank you. Yeah, so, what's the news you got to share with us? Are you leaving Lawrence for his salsa <laughs> dancing no, nephew? I am not. Yeah. Everything well, is fine with life. No, but we <laughs> are just Bye. fine. Yes, it's a grandma's <laughs> earrings. I'll tell you all about it tonight. What's back there? Yeah. Oh, that's Blair's office. Oh. Enter at your own risk. All right. Yeah. yeah. Ah, come to mama. Come to mama. Give it to me. Give it Grandma. to me. Lala? Yeah, Grandma. Yes, my firm specializes in personal injury. Libel? Oh, we specialize in libel. <sighs> no, sir. We're not offering any discounts for Christmas. Great. Then I look forward to speaking with you after the New Year. Thank you. And you have a Merry Christmas as well. Bye. Blair, look at this place. I know, Miss Stephanie, it's a mess. I've just been so busy, I haven't had any time to organize anything. Well, darling, how can you do business like this? That's just it, I can't. I mean, Chandler's first birthday coming up. Don't even mention Christmas. Marcy and I postponed our anniversary. It's what? Just, yeah, I I'm swamped. Yeah, well, okay, well, where did these things go? Oh. Uh, okay, this... put them behind there. Oh, oh, oh I'll take man. care of it. I got it, I got it, I got it. You're a jewel, Miss Stephanie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mr. Wallace. Yes, I'm available for a meeting. Those documents you sent me. Of course, I have them right in front of me. <laughs> so I'll see you first thing in the morning. We can move forward. No, thank you. Okay, Mr. <laughs> man, I, I feel energized now. Oh, man, I'll make some more calls. Uh, Mr. Do, do you mind, Mr. Anthony? No, you go right All right. Uh, yeah, how you doing, Mr. Boyd? This is Blair Kirkland. Yes, I'm just calling to follow up on a few things we talked about the other day. Yes, sir. Ready to roll. So good. When I was your age, I used to eat ice cream all the time in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream's good at any time of the year. Mm -hmm. In the winter, my grandma and I would sit in front of our little space heater and eat ice cream every night. <laughs> wow. You and your grandma shared some very special memories, didn't you? We sure did. <laughs> grandma Myra, did you know that instead of doing the Christmas pageant this year. Some of the kids are spending Christmas Eve with volunteer families. Really? What a wonderful idea. So what about you? Have you chosen the family that you want to spend Christmas Eve with? Well, I know this one family. I really like them, and I think it would be fun to spend Christmas Eve with them, but I... But... but so... So... Would you? Would you? I'd love for you to spend Christmas Eve with us. Only if you want. Will there be ice cream there? You better believe there'll be ice cream there. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of something for New Year's. No, just the two of us. No kids, no relatives, just me and my bride. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, well, Miami sounds nice. But, but how about something a little more exotic? Like Disney World. <laughs> hey, they don't call me Donald Duck or nothing. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> oh, how about Des Moines? Oh, yeah, Des Moines is jumping. <laughs> mm -hmm. Marcy, when is your mother gonna put her Christmas tree up in this new little house? She has been trying to get us to go to that farm for weeks now. 
Honey, are you sure you don't mind if uh, Denny spends Christmas Eve with us? Just one day. Mm, sure, fine. See, how, how did you feel about a little trip after Christmas? We're kind of getting away. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody sit, sit, gather around. I have a big announcement to make. Now, I know you all have been busy as of late, but I just want to share a little something with you all. Okay, Mother, is this going to take long? Because it's way past Chandler's bedtime. Yeah, come on, girl. Just hurry it up. All this drama fanfare. Well, all right. I'm going to take a mission trip with Lawrence. Didn't you do that already? Yeah, I mean, you just went to Ghana last year. Okay, I'm going again, okay? Maybe for longer. Well, how much longer? A year. A year? What? <laughs> First Dana, and now you, Stephanie, are you sure about this? I'm sure I need to be of service, Myra. I need to be needed. Okay, well, we need you. And your granddaughter needs you. Oh, no, and she And her daddy needs you, too. Doesn't. No, well, you she organized my office, Miss Stephanie. It was amazing. Well, she has two great parents who are doing a wonderful job with my Chandler. Yeah. Yeah, well, I really was able to schedule meetings, get back to clients. Yeah. I already need somebody to keep 24 7 and 70, so think about it, okay? Really? Hey, Aww. start the car. See you guys. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I gotta do more than organize files. I need to be able to make a difference. So, no, my mind is made up. I'm gonna do this. You know, I can't believe you are trying to go away for a whole year, out of the country, no less. Could you at least wait until after Chandler's birthday? Well, yeah, I'm not going now, duh. You know, I will go the day after New Year's Day. Give us time to change your mind. No, Donald, my mind is made up, like I said. Now, listen, we can talk about this another time. What I want to know is when is everyone available to go to the Christmas tree farm? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? I am treeless here. Make a date, we'll be there, right, Myra? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I listen, mm -hmm. I have a potential client. Let me tell you, this could be a big one. Yeah? So, Brent Hackman. You remember Brent? Uh, from Solstice. Yeah. Yeah. The one who smoothed me, got all my client secrets, then used them against me to make way more money than I ever made at Solstice. You know, I digress. Anyway, he gave me a tip. Oh, threw you a bone, did he? <laughs> Go ahead. What? He told me that there are several beauty supply chains that are opening up here. You know what that means? That means several grand openings. That means products and parties for the products to launch them. Who knows what else? Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, who do we call? Uh, now, that's the problem. He says he doesn't know, but I think he's just trying to hold out for more secrets. Well, give him what he wants. No! Why not? Because I have connections. I mean, I can make my own phone calls and find out some things. But anyway, what I think we should do is we should write up a generic proposal and then we'll add the details as we get more. Good right? idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Marcy, I think this could be 10 times bigger than that engagement That's party. That's what I'm talking about. Chandler, big thinking. Yes. yes. Big thinkers. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit there. We need to get out. We need to go beat some bushes so we can find out who we need to talk to about this account. OK, but can't we just beat the bushes over the phone? No, 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 honey. Big thinkers, face to face, eye to eye, always better. All right, fine. But let me just get somebody to uh, watch Chandler. Hey, Blair. Blair? What's up, babe? Babe, can you do me a favor and watch the baby? I have to, um, I have to run out. Whoa, I gotta meet Mr. Wallace in two hours and then I got the hearing. Yeah, I know. I just gotta go beat some bushes. I'll be back in about 20, well, hour tops. <sighs> it's just me and you. <sighs> Say bye, mommy. Bye. Okay, I understand, babe, but what, what, how, how far are you, babe? You want to hear? Here, hold on to it, baby. I know, I already missed a meeting with my client, and, and the hearing starts in 30 minutes. Terrible accident on 85 South, so we're just sitting here. Oh, baby, I got to get out of here. Call my mom. I know, I, I tried already. She's not picking up. Listen, good news. We're one step closer to finding out who we need to meet with to land that big account. Look, baby, that's good, but I got to go. Wait, what about Chandler? Well, I don't know. I'll work something out. Your Honor, I'd like to... Uh, uh, Mr. Kirkland, is there a reason that you have a baby with you in the court? Yes, sir. It's my daughter, Chandler. Say hi, baby. Baby. Hi, Chandler. I, I gathered that this was your daughter, but why is she here with you right now? Oh, uh, my wife. She went to go beat some bushes and got caught up in traffic. 
and was not able to come pick her up in time, so... <laughs> May I proceed? Uh, why not? Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying, our motion for a summary judgment is based on the fact that there clearly are no facts that can reasonably be disputed in this case. Mr. Wallace and myself firmly believe that. And in light of these new facts, I appeal to the court to accept this motion. My judgment is based on Chandler's appearance. Motion granted. Thank you, Your Honor. I got the judgment. You did? That's great. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take Chandler to court every time. I think George Welsh likes her. Yeah, how could he not? <laughs> right. Mm. She's a little ball of energy tonight, yes, though. Yes, she is. How'd your meeting go? You know, it went good. It went good. I, I think we're really close to finding someone. Nice. I'm gonna get that account, baby. I promise. Chandler's mommy's a winner. Yes, I am. Well, I don't think you got to prove that to Chandler or me, okay? Yeah. Remember that. Okay. I love you. Love and you I love you. I love you. Hey, Miss Stephanie, what you doing here? <laughs> I just took my grandbaby for a stroll, and she's resting now, and thought I'd check up on you, too. I see everything is still organized, sort of. Yep. I've got a little bit of time if you want me to finish. You don't have to do that, Miss Stephanie. Right. But if you really want to and don't have anything else to do. I'd love to. Great. Great. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start over here with these papers. So every year, Mom made a homemade fruit cake. Now, you know nobody likes fruitcake. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> but Mom would get teased every year about this fruitcake. Mm -hmm. But she made it anyway because she knew I liked it. Aw. You know, I remember your mother. I wish I'd known her better. She was so gentle, so humble. You're a lot like her. I try. She and my dad were two of the best people I knew. Mm. I'm sure she'd be very proud of you, Blair. I hope so. You're a good man. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Excellent father, husband, a son any mother would be proud of. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. I just miss my family, Yeah. you know? Even more so during the holidays. And especially now that I have Chandler. Mm. I just wish that I could talk to my mom. You know? Get that advice. Or that hug. When everything is going wrong. Man, it's nothing like a mother's hug. Nothing like a mother's hug. You know, Blair, um, I know I'm, I'm just the mother-in-law, yeah? But if there's anything that you want to talk to me about, and I mean anything, even if it's about Marcy, I'm here for you, okay? I can't take the place of your mother. No one can. But, um... I love you, Blair. Come here. I love you like my own. I want you to know that. Pick up, pick up, pick up, Larry. Larry, it, it's Stephanie. L listen, call me when you get this message. Um, I don't know how to say this, really, but I changed my mind about coming to Ghana. I'm so sorry. But I can't leave right now. I realize my mission is here with my family. Call me back. Marcy comes home the other day with all this stuff saying the house didn't look Christmassy enough for Chandler's first Christmas. 
I never thought Marcy would stoop to the level of buying an inflatable Santa. Motherhood does some strange things to a woman. Two years ago, we renovated this house, and now she's got me tearing it all up and wants it all finished before Chandler's birthday. That's our little Marcy. And you know how the Chandlers are about, well, everything. I mean, my mom never went overboard with this Christmas stuff. She told me that Christmas was about the birth of Jesus. She didn't buy into all this Santa stuff. Mm, smart woman. So, uh, how's Daddy feeling about the big first birthday and Christmas celebration going up? Thinking about Chandler's birthday reminds me of one thing. She's getting older. Mm, clearly. And the older she gets, the more pressure I feel. See, soon she's gonna start paying attention to the people around her, include me. Marcy wants to show her what a strong, confident woman looks like. Me? I just want to show her what a good man looks like. My mom used to say, baby, if you want to stand up son-in-law, you're going to have to be a stand-up dad. She said my grandfather set the bar high for what to look for in a man. And now I got to do the same thing. I have to be the one to show my daughter how she should be treated. Every father should do that for their daughter. That's life changing right there. Come on, man. Let's blow up Santa. We should have brought Chandler, though. This would have been her first Chandler family Christmas tree hunt. Uh-uh. Way too cold for her. Next it is cold. Ooh. OK, everybody. All right, so we're going to split up into three teams. Oh. And whatever team finds the best Christmas tree will choose the family activity for Christmas Eve. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather have oh, okay. Come on, girl. OK, Elizabeth and Marcy, you're team A. No, wait a minute. I want to be no. with my no. husband. You're always with him. Just get over there. And Blair. You and Stephanie, just you, you gotta split up sometimes. Oh my God, Donald and I will be Team C. Let's get going. We don't have all day. Took you long enough. Oh my God! God. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, Blair, come on, let's go. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Can I talk to you for a minute? How about we go get a Christmas tree? You don't want to be helped. Um. I owe you an apology. When you asked me about adopting Denny, I responded in a selfish and fearful way without giving any thought to what that little girl needs. She needs a family, a mother, and a father. She needs us, Myra. And I'm willing to be there for her for the rest of her life. If you are. Are you serious? 100% serious. We can be your village. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, honey. Oh, thank you. <sighs> OK, come on. Let's go tell Denny. Oh, uh, tell me what? Tell you that. Uh, uh, tell you that we want you on our team. We got to beat Stephanie and Blair. <laughs> OK. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on, get them. OK. What, what? You can't just burn something like this out. We got to practice. All right, honey. You're right. Mm -hmm. We'll tell her later. OK. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a big tree for my granddaughter. You know, Miss Stephanie can't be too big. You got a smaller house now, oh, remember? That's right. I need to downsize. Right. So, you know, um, I was, uh, I was thinking, and um, I don't think I'm leaving. Really? <laughs> yes. That's great. Marcy and I didn't want to crush your dreams, but we were really stressing when you were talking about going away. Imagine, Chandler without a grandma around. You know, I don't know what I was thinking about. I did not think it through. <laughs> <laughs> She's not the only one that miss you, too, you know? And I didn't think that through, either. I was wondering if you needed an assistant, you know, at the office, just a little. You? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you need the help, of course. Right, of course. <laughs> I would love that, Miss Stephanie. Really? Really. Come here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is great. Hey. You all right, son? I'm okay now. Okay. How about we get that Christmas tree? How about we go win this thing? How about it? Let's go. <laughs> the spirit. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Elizabeth, what did you find out? Okay, listen. The owner of the company, apparently he's very hands-on, so he, he wants to personally meet and make decisions, you know, with whoever he does business with. Okay. So Brent Hackman yeah. finally gave me some information, and what I did was I tweaked our proposal and I sent it over to him. Nice. Yeah, nice. so I'm hoping that we'll hear something in like a day or two. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Oh, goodness, wait, wait. I had all the office calls forwarded to my phone. One second. Ooh. Hello? Who yes, is it? thank you for calling events by Liz and Marcy. Yes, this is Elizabeth. Hi. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow? No, that's not too soon. Okay. Perfect. See you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh Who God. was it? That was him. That was from Cortez Beauty Supply. Okay, what did he say? He wants to meet with us tomorrow in our office at 10 a.m. And he serious? loves our proposal. And listen, he wants to make a decision about who he's gonna use for his events ASAP. Oh my gosh, oh my I gosh. Think we have yes, a deal. my baby's birthday bash is on. Your baby's yeah. birthday bash. Yes, this is great. Honey, okay, okay let's go find a tree. Yes, partner. Yes. Let's go find the winning the tree. The winning tree. Okay. All right, come on. Wait, look. I saw some good ones over there. No, well, you go that way. I'll All right, this. okay, come on. I said, <laughs> <in place. laughs> Good work, Elizabeth. What about that one? It's kind of too tall. Too tall? How about some nice ones? These ones are nice. <laughs> oh, they're looking at those little trees. <laughs> I changed my mind. Ma'am, you better stop playing with my emotions. What? You need to stop. I thought you wanted to adopt oh, her. Shh, not about adopting her. About waiting to tell her. Want to tell her now? Yeah, we can tell her now. <laughs> what about this one? It's pretty. <laughs> That's beautiful. Denny, can we talk to you for a minute? Mm hmm You know we really like spending time with you. I love spending time with you guys, too. Most of the time when I leave, I, it just breaks my heart to say goodbye to you. Mine, too. Sometimes I wish we didn't even have to say goodbye. Denny, I, I know how much you, you, you loved your grandma, um, and I, no one will ever be able to, to take her place, but I, I... Denny, how'd you like it if Grandma Myra and Grandpa Donald became uh, Mama Myra and Daddy Donald? We'd like to adopt you, Denny. We... We want you to be our daughter. For how long? Forever, honey. Until you, you know, grow up and get married. And... Denny! Listen, go, go get the others. I'll find them. Denny! We didn't mean to upset you. I know this is a pretty big deal, but whether you live with us or not, we'll always be here for you. So if this isn't something you want to do. No, I want to. It's just that I never thought I'd have a family again. I prayed and prayed that I would, but that God didn't hear me. And then I met you guys. And I imagine what it would be like to be your kid. To have a mom. And a dad. Now you guys want me too? Honey, we want you more than anything. Chandler's, I have an announcement to make. Myra and me, 
We're going to be parents. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, that is wonderful. What? Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Welcome to the family, kiddo. <laughs> Since you and Stephanie found the winning tree this year, what cruel Christmas uh, prank do you guys have planned for us? And can it involve eggnog? I'll let Miss Stephanie handle that. Well, thank you, Blair. As a matter of fact, I have something very special in mind, something that you all can sink your teeth into, but it won't be my delicious chocolate chip cookie. Oh, oh what yeah. a disappointment. All right, it's that time, guys, for Chandler to hang her very first Christmas tree ornament. I know, it's exciting. All right, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hurry up, y'all. You know she's fast. older man what it means to be selfless, to be a blessing in the lives of others. Little girls need fathers, Myra. And Denny's going to have one. She's going to have me. <laughs> you know how badly I wanted this. But I didn't want it without you. We're a team, honey, and you know that. Oh, that we are, Mrs. Brooks. <laughs> that we are. Oh. We better call Dana and let her know that she's gonna be a big sister. <laughs> I'd love to see Billy grow her face with Jesus. Me too. <laughs> confident that events by Marcy and Liz is the perfect choice for all your event planning needs. Very impressive, ladies. Very impressive. Thank you. Very Thank impressive you. indeed. Now, I'm not a man who likes to waste time, so in anticipation of being blown away, which I am blown away, I took the liberty of having the contracts drawn up, which I think you find are terms and agreements to your liking. Oh, wonderful. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait a minute now. Let's just look at this and see what compensate. Oh, you see that? Wow, okay. Oh, my. Marcy. Thank you. Mr. Cortez. Please call me Thomas. Oh, Thomas, Thomas, thank you so much. You will not regret this. Groovy. I'll have my arrest from Art contact you guys right away. Art? Art, our ad agency. You'll be working hand to hand with them from this point forward. Oh, right. okay. This is the last you'll see of me. Oh, wow. Perfect. Send them right in. My man from ARC is here. You're going to love this guy. Oh. He's one of the most remarkable marketers I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Okay. He's cutting edge. He's oh. bold. He's aggressive. Well, we he's like brilliant. that. We do. He must he's... be. Adam, Adam Reed. Reed. Marcy Chandler Jewell. Kirkland. It's good to see you. You guys know each other. Even better. <laughs> now I feel even more comfortable handing over the reins. Got to go. You good? We're good. OK. Make me proud, guys. Hi, Adam. Elizabeth. <laughs> oh. You're strong. This is custom. What are you doing here? What is going on? I'm just closing a major deal here. With my client. 
What? No, he said ARC. ARC Incorporated, actually. Adam Reed Consulting Incorporated. And I'm Adam Reed. You just closed a major deal with me. You know, Thomas told me that he'd signed a deal with a uh, hotshot events planning company. I had no idea it was you, though. This is a really cute office you have here. Blair work here, too? Me that. <laughs> you got married to him and had a baby. Wow. You know, the Marcy Jewel, I knew she would have never... You didn't know me. And you still don't. But now that I know you are involved in all this, I don't want any parts of it. Oh. Well, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you have a contract signed, sealed, and delivered. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'll just have to break it. Not without facing legal consequences, you won't. See, Thomas Cortez, he don't play that. I don't see what the problem is. You are a businesswoman. You just signed a big contract. In fact, I'm part of the reason why you signed the big deal in the first place. I convinced Thomas to sign such a lucrative deal with the events planning firm. Don't ask me why I did it. Must have been in the Christmas spirit, I guess. Ho, ho, ho. So, Thomas wants us to go over the details for his first grand opening, as well as um, have the reports ready for him in the morning. Uh, Marcy and I can go over the details over I am busy. drinks. Um, I'm available, Adam. Uh, no, Elizabeth, I'm gonna need you to pop in on the stores and check with the managers. I want you to get in their heads. I can do that. Great. Your expertise in cosmetics is really gonna come in handy right now. Can you do that for me? Of course. Great, great. Marcy and I will huddle tonight. Your number's still the same, right, Marcy? Great. I'll text you. Thanks, Adam. Marcy, will you just calm down? Calm down, Elizabeth? Really? Have you met Adam Reed? Oh, no, see, there's really nothing we can do about it. I mean, we signed the contract. Yeah, thanks to you, we signed the contract. I don't know why I listened to you. I'm not real sure why I went into business with you. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. What happened to our team, Elizabeth? That was before that snake, Adam Reed, came in here. Well, that snake holds the key to your daughter's petting zoo. So what I suggest is you put on your big girl stilettos and huddle up. Blair's just gonna have to understand. Blair? You know what, I, I, I can't even think straight. I'm out of here. Go on. Myra, guess what we just signed the deal? See, babe, I kept telling you not to worry. I knew you was gonna replace that rapper guy. Thank you. And you know, the company that's doing the marketing, they're the ones who suggested that the event planners get twice what we were expecting. Wow, now that is a shot in the arm. Yeah. I tell you, we can use the money right now, too. Exactly. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you were working with Preston, you had to represent some clients that you didn't necessarily want to represent. Yeah, and I felt horrible about it. Yes, but still in all, you did it because you had to do it. Yep, yeah, that's why I quit. My mom used to always say, the measure of a man is his ability to do what's right even when he has a lot to lose. Well, Blair, what if I told you that the agency that I'm dealing with is run by a man who has absolutely no scruples? who'll do anything for a dollar. Someone who, had I known he was behind this deal, I would've taken three Fiona friendlies over him. <laughs> three Fiona? <laughs> this guy can't be that bad. <laughs> Unless he's Adam Reed. <laughs> he's Adam Reed. I don't know who's Adam Reed. He's Adam Reed. That little snake just won't go away. Okay, just drop the account, we'll I get by. I cannot drop the account, I signed a contract. Well, dude, I'll go talk to him. Hey, what are you doing? No, Blair, no. Look, I know you left Preston because you wanted to set a good example for Chandler, right? Exactly. Okay, well, I want to do the same thing. But I need her to understand that everything in life is not gonna go her way. She needs to know that mommy and daddy are gonna be strong, no matter what or who they have to deal with. And in life, we don't always get to choose our circumstances. 
You right, baby. And I trust you to do what you have to do. Thank you. All right? Mm -hmm. And if anybody can handle Adam Reed, it's you. It's me. Right. And if you can't, I will. Excuse me. I got this. OK? You got this. I got this. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oops, mm -hmm. oops, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming and helping us put the finishing touches on this tree. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yes, lots <laughs> of fun. But now it's time to get you back to the home. But I don't want to go. I know, sweetie, but hopefully in a few months, you won't have to. Well, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to miss all my friends there. But I hope they all find home someday, too. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe we'll plan some get-togethers with you and your friends at the home and Caroline. And you know what? They can come over here and hang out anytime they want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that little getaway. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we better get going. Denny, before you, uh, before you go. <laughs> shall we? We shall. <laughs> right there. Turn that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> It's gonna be just like old times. You gotta admit, Marcy, we were pretty great together. You know, Adam, I remember how things ended between us. I'm sure you have some crazy plot to get back at me. I don't know how Blair does it. How does he put up with a woman that thinks everything is about her? Well, when it comes to you, Adam, everything is about me. But you know what? I don't have a problem working with you, or anyone else for that matter. I can hold my own. But I'm sure you are just chomping at the bit to give me a hard time. So I say, bring it on. Because not only am I stuck with you, you're stuck with me. Just like old times. Ho, ho, ho. All right, guys, so I got the paperwork to get the adoption process started. Look it over. How long will it take before we can bring Denny home? It's hard to say, but it's good that you already know the child that you want to adopt. Plus, Denny's awarded the state and considered legally free to be adopted, so. That's good, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, look, we get all this paperwork done, and I'm sure your cousin Gavin will do everything he can to help. The state have to come in, do home studies and all that stuff, but I'll be with you guys every step of the way. That's great. Thank you so much, Blair. We appreciate you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Denny's a very lucky little girl. I think we're the lucky ones. Wow. Just a few more. Where's mommy? Yes, honey. Yes. Babe, mm -hmm. you think you went overboard with these gifts? Oh, no, 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 no. Now that we got that contract, we are good. Think I still have time to rent that parking lot? Well, I... Or we could just do it at Mom's backyard. It's big enough. You think she'd mind the petting zoo, though? Well, I don't know if it's... <laughs> Mama's baby's gonna have the best birthday ever! The best, the best! Yes! Marcy, 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 Marcy. It's gonna be so fun! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, babe, sit down. Sit down for a minute. I mean, Blair, don't try to change my mind. I really want to do this. I want to do it for Chandler. Yes, I do. You want to do it for Chandler. What about what I want to do for our daughter? I already told you, I don't want Chandler growing up spoiled and consumed with stuff. And you seem to be obsessed about this big old party and all these gifts. OK, well, obsessed yeah. is a little strong. I'm not obsessed. All right, here. OK, OK, okay. Let's, let's just agree that we'll keep the gifts to a minimum. OK, so our daughter doesn't grow up spoiled and materialistic. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Why would I have a problem with that? OK, well, good. You want to go night night? You know what? Take her in there and then I'll meet you guys. Okay, you sure? Back, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love you. 
Okay, so where was I? Um, oh, right, so he was trying to tell, it was all like he was in charge. I got on up out of there, I strutted out. Oh, I wish I could have seen his face. <gasps> That's my baby. Yeah. So yeah. you're stuck working with Adam Reed again? Yeah, but you know what, it's fine, Mom. It really, oh, and get this. He's moving to Atlanta so he can keep his eye on his account. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's not the only thing he wants to keep his eye on. Elizabeth. I'm just saying. Look, guys, Adam Reed has tried every trick in the book to get Marcy. And where is he now? In some hotel room on Christmas Eve by himself? Where am I? My beautiful wife, my adorable daughter, and the most fantastic family a man could ever ask for. That's true. Speaking of, I want you guys to know that this Christmas I have really been missing my parents. A lot. Especially mom. Oh, baby. And you guys have helped me deal with that. Especially you, Miss Stephanie. Oh. Whether you know it or not, you've been a mom to me. And I appreciate that. Oh, Blair. And I really appreciate you guys taking me in. Me too. It's not easy losing someone that you love. And it's not easy opening your heart up to someone new and loving them like your own. Because of you guys, I'm gonna have a real family again. Ooh, we have a Chandler woman in the making. Now, I said that um, I was gonna select the Christmas Eve activity. So, look, Christmas is about family and it's about love and celebrating the birth of Jesus, but it's also about remembering those who are special, who've made a difference in our lives. And so I thought tonight we each could light a candle for someone special, say a little something to, for, about them, no matter where they are. Hmm? Hmm. I'll go first. This Christmas Eve, I, I want to light a candle for all the little girls growing up with, uh, without a father. Whether he's physically or emotionally absent from their lives. My prayer is that the men in their lives will step up and step in and be positive role models in their little girls' lives. This Christmas Eve, I light a candle for my daughter, Dana, and I thank God for giving us the tools to raise her to be the phenomenal woman that she is. I light a candle for my ever-growing family and for Lawrence's protection and his servant's heart. For my father, the first man I loved. And for our parents, especially my mother because I was always her favorite. For my mother, for teaching me your wisdom, your selflessness, teaching me how to be a man. For my grandmother, for teaching me how to be strong and how to dream. For always being there. Back then and now for showering me with so much love that I always had enough to give away. For always being there for me. And still to this day. is truly your daughter. She's still knocked out. Oh. <laughs> you ladies mind if I join you? 
Not at all. <laughs> I was just telling Denny about uh, Dana and Bria making homemade Christmas stockings for the kids oh. at the church. Each kid gets one small stocking and one present and one candy cane. Oh. But you'd think that they had just been on a shopping spree at FAO Schwartz. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Denny, what's on your Christmas list? Nothing. I already have everything I wanted for Christmas. I have a family. I love you. I love you, too. You know, my list was really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Marcy? <sighs> you know, Adam Reed said something to me yesterday. Mm. He said I make everything about me. And I, I don't... Do I? Honestly? Um... Yeah. Yeah, but you know why that is? Because I made everything about you when you were little. And now you're making everything about Chandler. And you. What, what makes you say that? I, I don't... This whole first birthday slash first Christmas bash. Baby, it's over the top. Who needs all that stuff? Chandler doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't even care. Sweetheart, we know that you are an amazing mother and an amazing businesswoman and a strong woman. You don't have to prove that to us. We know that, and so will Chandler, okay? Honestly, I think you're the only one trying to convince yourself. I know. I just, I want to get it all right. You know, the business, the motherhood, the marriage, just everything. Yeah, well, let's start with Christmas, all right? And Chandler's first birthday. How did you get so smart? <laughs> I take after my mother. Well, then I do, too. So, what are you going to do about all those presents? I have an idea. Good. Because if Chandler's anything like her mother, she is going to skip the <laughs> presents and spend all her time playing with Christmas ribbon. You know, she's nothing like her mother. She's a strictly a daddy's girl. And I'm okay with that. Mm. I'm okay with it. Okay. So. All right, well, I'm gonna get out there and tell the rest of the family about part two of the Christmas activity. Uh, what? Yeah. Ma. Do, 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 do. I. No. What? God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from sin. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel's voices, oh, night divine, oh, night. When Christ was born, oh, night divine, oh, night. Oh, Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, 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 bells on bobtails ring. Making spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh.
reading a page from the original Mrs. Kirkland's book and only getting Chandler two gifts for Christmas this year. One she keeps for herself, and the other one is for someone in need. Well, no, wait a minute. What, what about that big pile of gifts in the corner? That was for Chandler, but I've decided to donate it to some kids at the uh, Cary Steel Pits home. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so welcome, little cuz. And I canceled the circus, yes, oh, and the petting good. zoo. Yay! <laughs> All right, baby. Be ready to open your first Christmas slash birthday present, huh? Do you see what I see? Like mother, like daughter. Well, she is a mama's girl. <laughs> <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness.